are back. Joining me via Skype from New York City is Jason Fiverr. Jason is the editor-in-chief of Entrepreneur Magazine and host of two podcasts, Problem Solvers, Dealing with Unexpected Problems, and Pessimist Archive, A History of Unfounded Fears in Technology. They both sound very interesting, and he's also the co-author of the novel, Mr. Nice Guy. Jason, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. You no, know, no problem. So you're a nice guy, huh? I, I try to be. I mean, it's, it's a novel, so it's not about me. It's about somebody else. I'm not just out there flattering myself. <laughs> All right. Just want to make sure we get that straightened out. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so entrepreneur, tell me a little bit about the magazine before I ask you some other questions. Sure. So I want Entrepreneur Magazine to really be about talking real because entrepreneurship is difficult. You know, a lot of people glamorize it and people sometimes think entrepreneurship is just a way to make money. It is not. It is a lifestyle. It's a badge of honor. It's really about making things happen for yourself. And that is not easy. Mm. So we want to tell stories about people who are embracing challenges, who are really going forward with their vision and just blasting through the walls that are in front of them. So if somebody wants to become an entrepreneur, what are some things they should keep in mind? Well, I think the most important thing is that you don't have to be one kind of thing. You know, I define entrepreneurship as someone who makes things happen for themselves, which means that you could be an entrepreneur inside of a large company. You don't necessarily need to own your own business. But I think what you need to do is identify something that you want to build, that you want to take ownership of, whatever that is, and then create that experience for yourself. You need to be constantly embracing change and making change around you. So so what, what tips do you have for someone that wants to become an entrepreneur, Jason? Well, I think the first thing that you need to do is take a look around yourself and say, what things do I need to learn in order to get to where I want to go? You need to identify some kind of goal. It doesn't have to be some hyper-specific thing, but you have to say, I'm interested in this, or I have a vision for that, and I'm missing some certain knowledge or, or network or whatever it is. You need to have a situational awareness of how you can improve yourself to get to where you want to go. And then the most important thing is to just go do it. I think people sit on the sidelines too much. They analysis paralysis themselves to death. You need to go out, out and just start going. Build, learn along the way. You will never ever get anywhere if you start at zero. If you stop, I'm sorry, if you, if you, uh, if you start at zero, if you stay at zero. You, <laughs> you <know. laughs> so failure. Now a lot of people yeah. are afraid to fail. Is there somewhere that people can turn failure into a, a, a positive experience for them or something they can use to, to uh, you know, continue with their mission? Oh, absolutely. I The thing that I love most about entrepreneurs is that they are always talking about their failures because they understand that failure is part of the process. I always like to think of failure as data. You are not failing. You're putting something out into the world and you're seeing how it worked and you're understanding why it didn't. And then you can take that information back and grow because of it. You know, everything that you do along your journey informs the next step. And so failure to me is really just a learning experience. And if you can see it that way, then you won't be stopped by it. In fact, you'll be motivated by it. Yeah. And also, um, it, it requires a lot of research, right? Also on your part as well. Uh, yeah. are there, and it is like it for you, for example, I know you, you're, you're the editor in chief of Entrepreneur Magazine. So were there any, anybody that you looked up to uh, as far um, as, as yeah. an idol? Yeah. You know, I mean, along the way, a million people, you know, we talk a lot about mentorship and entrepreneurship. And I, and I think that something that people may misunderstand is that they think of mentor and they think of it as like a job that they have to fill, like they're out trying to find a mentor. I literally will get emails from random people saying, will you be my mentor? It doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. Instead, what I always suggest to people is that you look around yourself and you find people who you know, who you've worked with, who you might just be able to reach out to and ask a specific question, you assemble a broad network of mentors. These are people who you might just check in with a couple times a year, people who you develop relationships with, who never think of themselves as a mentor to you. They just think of themselves as someone who's invested in your success and you're invested in theirs. Right. So I've always been building that network and it's changed along the way because you need different people for different times and different tasks. But that's how you build a great 
mentorship network. It's people who don't ever think of themselves as mentors. Okay, two quick questions. First of all, key traits that an entrepreneur should have or they must possess in order to succeed, what are they? Oh, embrace change. People who are just stuck in one way of thinking will always, always fall behind. I love this phrase that Reid Hoffman, the co-founder of LinkedIn uses. He calls it permanent beta. That's the mindset that he says entrepreneurs need to be in, that they are always, always a product in revision. And you the website where people can get information about your book, real quickly. Oh yeah. Oh, thanks. So jasonpfeiffer.com is where you can go for everything. My newsletter, my podcasts, my book, that's the place to go. And uh, I'd, I'd love to hear from people and I always respond. Oh, Jason, thank you so much for being on the show. We appreciate it. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Take care. Okay, guys, thanks again to all my guests for being here today. And thanks to all of you at home for watching. Make sure you tune in next time for another wonderful show. Also, join me on social media at Araldo Meglara so our conversations can continue and know what topics and guests you would like to see here on Unplugged with Araldo. Take care. The preceding was sponsored by Fitness Training by Araldo Incorporated. Promotional consideration is paid for by... 